In order to use AP Game Tools with Unreal Engine, you need to go to Settings, Plugins, Built-in, and then search for GLTF. This is the one you want to use. Press Yes, and then Restart. Okay, we're ready to import our models. Make sure you save your project before you try to export. AP Game Tools saves your models in the same folder as your blend file. Once you're ready to export your models, click on Export for Game Engine. Then locate the model you exported. It should be called yourmodel.glb. Now drag that model into your Unreal project. You might need to set your scale to 100, depending on what units you are using in Blender. Your model is now ready to be used in Unreal. If we look at the material setup, we'll see that the color, metalness, and roughness values are all correct and if you have any textures, they will automatically be brought into Unreal and set up as well. I'll show you that in a little bit. If you need to update your materials and your mesh, follow the same process and press Export for Game Engine. If Unreal prompts you to, do not re-import the model. Navigate to the exact same folder that you brought your model into before. Now, drag your new model into this folder and it should automatically update your model in Unreal. If you want to update your mesh but keep your material set up in Unreal, then you should make a duplicate of your material, and after you have imported your new mesh, add the material you duplicated. If you have a complex material, such as this material I got from Polygon, you might need to bake your textures before you export. I like to use the add-on Simple Bake. With this material, it looks like I need a base color map, a roughness map, and a normal map. After you've baked your textures, it should look something like this. Now you are ready to export. As you can see, it now imports into Unreal just fine. If your objects have parents, they will not export correctly. You will need to clear the parents first before you export. You can export multiple objects at the same time by selecting all the objects you want to export and following the normal procedures. Unreal does not import the location data, so you will have to set up your scene manually. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.